Hello, my fellow Zeekers. Did you know that there's a way to drive traffic to your store for free? That's right. You don't need paid ads or social media posts to get consistent quality traffic. In this special video, I am going to show you how to get unlimited traffic from search engines using a technique called SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. Now the concept is quite simple. Using the techniques I'll show you here, you'll be able to communicate with search engines like Google and signal to them to position you higher for keywords that best describe your store or products. So without further ado, let's dive into this video guide. First, we need to understand our goal for this video, which is reaching the top search results, a concept known as search engine ranking for keywords that best describe our store niche or product. Now, the closer your search engine ranking is to one of these specific keywords, the better. So let's say you're selling portable fans in your store. Now, just imagine how much free traffic your store could get if you appeared on the first page on Google of search results for keywords like summer portable fan. Now that's the ultimate goal. Okay, so now we need to find the keywords on which we want to focus our SEO efforts. These keywords will be the main focus for search engines to index our store on the top page of the search results. Now to do this, I will use a free Google tool called Google Keyword Planner to check which keywords related to my niche have a high search volume. And listen, if you don't have an account, you can create one for free with Google Ads, which will give you access to the Keyword Planner, a part of Google Ads. From here, I will click on Discover New Keywords and add my store niche. Now, in this case, my store sells crossbody wallets. So I'll add the keyword crossbody wallets wallets. Now here you need to ensure that the country and language settings are correct. I will double click on English and since my main audience is the United States, I will select the United States. Now I can see the search volume for the keywords I searched and of course, other related keywords. At this stage, I want to select four keywords with high search volume and relevance. So I recommend copying these four keywords into a note. First, I will choose the main keyword that best defines my niche, which in this case is crossbody wallet. I will also include crossbody phone purse and crossbody wallet purse both of which have high search volumes, as well as wallet crossbody bag. So now that we've chosen four strong keywords, crossbody wallet will be our primary keyword on which we will focus the most efforts on. The supporting keywords, crossbody phone purse, crossbody wallet purse, and wallet crossbody bag also have high search volumes and will complement the main keywords. Now let's move on to the next stage, which is to incorporate these keywords into various places around our store. This will help communicate our search engines and improve our search engine ranking for these keywords. I hope you're following along in making sure you're boosting your SEO. Before we implement the keywords we found in our store, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube YouTube channel and like this video, it does mean a lot to us. And if you want to enhance your product research and base your product selection on data, you can subscribe to Zeek Analytics for just $1 for the first week. Okay, now I will provide a copy that includes the four keywords we found. First, I will log into the back end of my Shopify store. From here, I'm gonna go to the products section 
and choose one of the products in my store. If you have a low number of products, I recommend putting in the effort to optimize them all by following what I will show you here. So first we'll start by drafting an SEO optimized title. Now the title should be short and straightforward, including our primary keyword. I'll write cross body wallet, one bag for all your needs. Now we need to create a product description that includes all four high traffic keywords that we found. We can simplify this process by using ChatGPT. So since I've already drafted a product description, I'll copy it and then ask ChatGPT. Rephrase this product description and add these four keywords in a readable and understandable way. This is the product description. And then you're just going to go ahead and paste the product description. These are the four keywords I want to include. This is where you're going to insert the keywords. And in just a few seconds, you'll have a complete description with all four keywords seamlessly integrated. Okay, so now that we have a well-optimized title and description, let's move on to the next area we need to optimize, which is the SEO metadata. This part will determine how your product page appears on the search results page. So for example, the upper section is the page title and the lower section is the meta description. Now, these elements should provide a clear overview of the page's content, and we need to ensure they are effective. It's important to note that Google places the most value on keywords from the product title and description. While the meta description is no longer a significant factor for SEO, it should still be written clearly for human readers. So for this area, please avoid cramming in keywords at the expense of clarity. So just make sure your meta description is easy to understand and encourages potential buyers to click on your page. Also consider highlighting reasons why a buyer might choose your product, such as offering free worldwide shipping, available color variations, or limited time offers. So here's the meta description I came up with. Shop the crossbody wallet available available in various colors. Enjoy free worldwide shipping on every order. For the page title, I can either keep it as the product title or modify it slightly if I think it will look better in the search results. For the character limits, we have 160 characters, but pay attention that Google will show only 150. So stay in the range of 150 characters or less. Now we need to ensure the URL is optimized as well. I prefer to keep it the same as the title since it includes our primary keywords. So I'll set the URL as cross body wallet one bag for all your needs. Make sure to avoid using unnecessary words like like and if because and so on. So just make sure you are including solid key words. Most importantly, ensure that the option to create a URL redirect is checked. This way, if you've shared this page link before, Shopify will automatically redirect the previous URL to the new one we're creating now. In the product category, it's important to select the correct category for your product. This helps Google better understand how to categorize your item. In this case, I will enter crossbody bag. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is optimize the image. Yes, you heard that right. Images also have fields for SEO that can directly impact your search engine ranking. Many people tend to skip this step, but since we want to outshine the competition, it's important to include it. So we'll start with the first part, which is the alt text. You might be wondering, what is alt text? Well, it's the text that tells Google what the image actually represents. Now, the benefit of using alt text is that it can improve visibility in Google images, where many users search for product images instead of text. Additionally, this alt text is visible in the code of your Shopify website, giving it an extra SEO boost. Now to edit the alt text, 
I will click on the product image, which opens a text box for entering the alt text. Now we want to describe the product using the high search volume keywords that we found. For this image, I will write crossbody wallet in black color on table. Now, if you have multiple images for the product, it's important that each alt text is different. So you could write something like crossbody wallet in black color on table, crossbody wallet in black color front view, or crossbody wallet in black color back view and so on. Now we're done optimizing the product page and we can click save or publish. Now, before I share another game changing way to boost your organic visibility, did you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel yet? If not, I would be grateful if you could do so now so you can get the best tips and strategies to boost your e-commerce business. Now we need to do the same for collections and other static pages on our website. So make sure to update the title, description, SEO metadata, URL, and image SEO for each of these pages. Once you've completed that, you can move on to another SEO booster, blog posts. Now, the idea of blog posts is quite straightforward. Search engines rank your website higher in the results when they find that your website provides value to the audience. Blog posts are a great way to achieve this, and these days, blog posts can be written using AI tools. Simply click on online store and create a new blog post. And make sure to include the keywords that you have found in both the title and the description of the post. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, how do I know what topics I should write about? I'll share a secret method that will help you find the hottest blog post topics directly from Google, where we aim to rank high in the search results. Now for this, I use Gemini, Google's chatbot. Since Gemini is powered by Google, I can ask it a question like, what are the hottest fashion trends of 2024? And receive answers directly from the Google database itself. This allows me to create content that is relevant both to Google and to potential buyers. Now this strategic method will help you rank higher in search results and show Google that you're providing relevant, up-to-date, content. Now, as for creating the blog post, you can actually go ahead and write it yourself, or you can use tools like ChatGPT or Gemini to craft amazing blogs. Now, the last thing you can do to further boost your store's visibility is adding the main keywords you found using Google Keyword Planner to your homepage title and homepage meta description. However, be sure to include them naturally so it doesn't appear forced and remains readable to potential customers. So we've reached the end of this video and I'd love to know, did you follow my steps? If so, I'm sure you'll start seeing results in no time and enjoy the free traffic coming to your store from search engines. Now, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and go ahead and leave a comment if you'd like us to create more videos like this. Remember, investing in your SEO can be a game changer and will help increase your profit. Thank you for watching, keep moving forward, and I will see you next time.